awesome. I think we'll keep it to uh, lethal. We've got in the safe. I guess we're uh, still what we got on us at the moment then. So, uh, options. That's it guys, so we're finally in the game properly, that's your prologue done. Pretty deep, and uh, looks like he needs to get revenge. setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. Which is why I stole all this shit from the FBI. <laughs> Things go tits up, those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And while you were convalescing, I did some digging Jeez, around. Jesus, Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Patience? Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. He's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. Now, I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. Man's to keep his identity a secret. Unknown. Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, <laughs> you're telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna wanna see. Get a car. But what other things can I do then? Have I got collectibles? So starting with hot the hollow. Take over there. Oh, used cars, look. I'll have one. Oh, must be no. 
Oh no, I remember about this. Phone on his cock. These uh, green could to support our community through his benevolent society. If someone couldn't quite make them, we can actually bring about earth shadow and change, but it's what we gotta do. No matter who doesn't like it. Maybe. I know he was well intentioned and all, but if I Sorry. Heard they're flying James L. Ray back this week. Still amazes me they expect us to believe it was one man who did end Dr. King. It's too easy. How? Too bad. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat and someone can take it all away just like that. Sugar, you sure looking sweet today. <laughs> I just found my way in. Okay. These crackers love enslaving African women. This kid gets street from the start. Did you huh? see that? Nice, pal. How you doing? Ooh. You found a scrap letter of these. Might soon be you. Okay, cool. Bit of money, too. Nice. and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother. Nice. Right, some money somewhere. Ah, there it is. I love that. And a little yellow car too. Reverse driving. I 
was not looking forward to dealing with voodoo. That's stuff I want to keep away from. I'll try and use guns at some point, but mostly I probably will just stick to um, taking people down hand to hand with a knife and things. Just prefer it. Let's be honest. You didn't see anything. What you doing? Shut the door. Oh, wreck the place a bit. I love that. Hold the side. Now she got two boys on the stage. I can find any uh, money or collect spoils or something. Looks like we gotta wait. Oh, it's you. Coffee. Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Lieutenant Baca was holding you prisoner. And I yelled, you are dead. It appears we both full of surprises. Damn. Certainly does. <laughs> Good. What can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sammy and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Once I have Dahala, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. As long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? I assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs, you know, for old time's sake. <laughs> you sound like a guy that needs me to pay him a visit. <laughs> That's how he killed my sister. <laughs> Don't like that thing deserve to live. All I have left. <clears throat> How do I find it? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. 
But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. Okay. Do you like shotguns? Yeah, I love that. Gator skin. Didn't do much damage though. Handguns. How do? Cheers, man. Been around in a truck. What happened to your store? When they shot me down, they don't want niggas buying guns. Yeah. Are we gonna start shooting the hell out of white folks or some such? Motherfuckers. <gasps> Tell me about it. Up up there. He's, he's got a gun. gun. Right. How do I? To voice. Keep pressing the one button. Uh, there we go. Dateline, Greenwood, Mississippi. Judge W.H. Bazell has issued an injunction against the continued boycott of white-owned stores by Negroes in the city. That's some cool music, I like that. for so eyes. Laveau, been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses. And you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned ahead. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. Let's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to him? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh... I'm sorry to hear about Sammy and Ellis. They always did right by me. What else you gotta say? I hear it was Merle's idea to take over Perlis and turn it into that 